Today's tutorial is to demonstrate a new financial software called SMART, which is an acronym for Stock Data for Market Analysis and Research Tools. This experimental software allows individual market researchers to retrieve free, discrete time, price, and volume data of every stock that is traded publicly in the United States. This data is normally sold as a quarterly subscription. However, with SMART, all that is required is an internet connection to access this data. To start SMART, I first have to access the software. SMART operates in two modes, manual and auto. The objective of the auto mode is to allow the operator to configure the interface once, set a trigger time, and SMART would communicate with the internet on a daily basis at the trigger time to retrieve the market data for the selected stocks based on the interface configuration set by the operator. However, for this tutorial, we will operate SMART in the manual mode. Once we enter the manual mode, SMART offers two options. We can either run the program for the best performers of the day or for a list of customary symbols. If I am interested in the best performers of the day, then I can retrieve the data for either the best performers of the day from the entire U.S. market, or I could retrieve the data from individual New York Stock Exchange, NASDAQ, or Amex markets. So for instance, if I'm interested in small cap companies, I can select the best performers of the day from NASDAQ and Amex markets. For example, I can select the seven best performing stocks from NASDAQ and the two best performing stocks from Amex by either turning this knob or inputting a number. I can also specify the time frame of the data retrieval process. For example, if I am interested in the trading activity that happens in the early hours of the intraday session, then I could limit the process to, for example, 9.30 to 11 by turning this needle. I can save this selection, and I can reload it for any subsequent configurations of SMART. However, in this demonstration, I'm going to set the entire duration of the intraday trading session as the time span for the data collection. Once the time span is defined, I could also ask SMART to email me the data as soon as the job is complete. For this, I have to input an email address. I add it to the list of recipients, and I could also save this email address and then load it for subsequent sessions. Finally, once the interface is configured, I ask SMART to execute the job. Once the data collection process is initiated, SMART communicates the progress through multiple displays. The top display shows a number of web pages that SMART is opening in the background to retrieve the data. The lower display shows the time progress toward the completion of the task for every selected stock. The fill tank display shows the progress toward the completion of the job. Since I selected seven stocks for NASDAQ and two stocks for Amex, then SMART automatically adjusts the height of this display to the total number of stocks from NASDAQ and Amex, which in this case is nine. As soon as the data is retrieved for one stock, SMART plots price data on this chart as a function of time, as defined in the time span selection. As soon as the job is complete for all the selected stocks in the NASDAQ and Amex markets, SMART will email the data to the selected recipients. Once all emails are sent, SMART automatically saves the retrieved data on the host computer and terminates itself. All the data retrieved from this job is indexed by SMART inside a database created automatically on the host computer. For example, the data retrieved from the NASDAQ market will be saved under this folder. This database is indexed by the date of the task, and inside that folder I could find the discrete time data that SMART retrieved for every stock. The data is saved inside a text file where the first three rows correspond to the quote of the day, such as the open price, close price, volume, and so on. From the fourth row all the way down to the end of the file, 
The first column is the time, the second column is the price, and the third column is the corresponding volume. This data is compatible with existing financial software such as MATLAB. For example, I could load and plot the intraday price chart of a selected stock in MATLAB. I can do this by selecting a file from the database and loading the data contained in the corresponding text file. By comparing the data plotted on MATLAB to the data found on Nasdaq.com for the same stock at the same trading session, we can conclude that the two graphs are the same, with the exception of the filtering techniques which vary from one source to the other. This concludes today's tutorial. For more information about smart and stock trading strategies based on corporate news interpretation, be sure to check out our book, Internet Stock Trading and Market Research for the Small Investor, and stay tuned for more upcoming demonstrations.